everyone and welcome to another Friday 5 Minute Makes. Now today we're going to make a quick card. It really should only take you 5 minutes or so. Um, I have already die cut a silhouette style uh, die here. Just a leaf from my Textures Magnolia Leaf Half Tone there. That's a stamp and die set. But any sort of floral or foliage silhouette style die that you've got will do perfect from White Cardstock. And I have pre-stamped uh, a sentiment as well. Other than that, you'll see me creating the card live. Now, the card base was made using, this is actually called a mushroom colour cardstock. I get this from Lime Tree Crafts in the UK. Um, this was an A4 sheet and I've just scored it and cut it down so it's 5 by 7 inches. Now, uh, the most important thing here is your low-tack tape. So I'm going to be using this. I'm just going to cut myself some pieces and I'm going to create a block ready for um, some inking here. So it's important to get this down straight, unlike I have. Now, because this is low tack tape, but it is new pieces that I'm using, I am just popping them onto um, the bottom of my trousers at the moment. I've actually got uh, fluffy joggers on today, so uh, I'm just popping these on there. Um, I'm trying to make them quite even as well, so the block of colour is in the middle go all the way around the four edges so I think it's important even with low tack tape to take the sticky off the tape if you're planning on doing ink blending onto a nice clean piece of cardstock if you're holding dies down with it it's not an issue you should be able to go straight onto the paper but because I'm going to be doing a lot of pressing around the edges here um, and then peeling it off and that will be on my card front I definitely want to make sure that the stickiness is reduced as much as possible on these so just popping these onto this strip onto my trousers and then onto there. So I've masked myself off a block of colour in the centre of my card there. Just making sure gently that the inner edge is really pressed down well. And then I've got two colours. So I've gone for aged mahogany and Victorian velvet in the Distress Oxide range. And I'm going to blend these. I'm going to blend them up from the bottom. So starting with the darkest colour, the aged mahogany. Um, I chose these because they're quite nice, um, subtle tones. They're going to work really well with that uh, mushroom colour cardstock. Now, you could do this with any colour cardstock. Of course, you can do it with white. I think I quite liked the warm tones of the mushroom colour there, so that's why I've gone for that. So I'm going to just start blending about two inches or so from the bottom of my block there. And then I'm going to come to Victorian Velvet. Now, if you've got my Distress Oxide colour chart and you've been filling it in with the colours that you've got, this helped me a lot uh, make the decisions on which colours to use together. So just by taking a look at that. Um, and I went for two, like I say, that are quite subtle, quite nice muted tones. Now, I'm going through there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the top third plane and just very gently work this Victorian velvet up into the blank space but I'm not going to go all the way to the top and I'm just really fading it out so now I'm not putting any more colour onto my brush I'm just working with what's already on the cardstock and on the brush there so you can see it's really faded out now I can come back and I can work with uh, aged mahogany up into the Victorian velvet and just give this a nice blend line as well so I think here it's quite important to have a really nice blend a nice soft blend and work on that maybe practice your blending techniques if you need to here because this is really going to be the standout area of color there we go okay so i'm happy with that um, i am going to just do my usual and flick a little bit of water over you don't have to be working on white cardstock for this to react nicely we don't need too much there i always say that and then add more <laughs> And you might want to just give that a moment or two to dry. Otherwise, you can just take, as I'm going to do, just take a piece of tissue and lift off the excess. And there, so you can see we get those lovely sort of splats. They're beautiful. Okay, just dab off any excess from around the rest of the card. So now we can gently just peel back. And I am saying gently, you want to be careful here. Now, if you peel your tape fold it back on itself and hold it at a 45 degree angle away from your card and gently peel it off that way you should get a lovely crisp line so I'm going to do this all the way round 
I'm actually not going to speed this up because uh, a lot of people really love how satisfying tape peel is uh, and I'm definitely one of those so you can sit and watch me peel off these tapes and if, you know if I make a mistake we make a mistake together <laughs> we just peel that back there we go see that 45 degree angle and folding it back on itself and working slowly if you work really slowly at least that way if you get any pieces where the paper starts to lift up and starts to pull you can stop immediately and then try removing your tape from the other side sometimes that helps prevent that from pulling any further um, or you could use a just warm up the tape with your heat gun and very often that will also loosen the glue underneath a little bit now worst case if you do pull this away and you really ruin the edges with your tape you see mine's absolutely fine there uh, but if you do you could go ahead and cut trim out your inked panel and then glue it onto another piece of cardstock so then I'm going to place this lovely bright white silhouette over the top. I mean, how stunning is that? Absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to glue this down. I'm going to use my favorite glue at the moment, uh, Creative Craft Products Book Binding Glue. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a line of glue just down the stem there. Let's just take this away from my card base for a moment. Just down the stem okay nice thin line and then to keep a little bit of dimension i'm going to take some foam pads and i'm just going to stick a little bit of a foam pad on each of these leaves so you might want to use smaller foam pads or like me i'm going to just trim into these so this is going to take me a little longer than usual for gluing but just a small foam pad on each leaf each of the larger leaves i'm not worried about the smaller pieces and then that will just lift them up and give us a little bit of a shadow. There we go. So just holding the stem and the top, make sure that falls roughly where I'd like it to fall. Let's give it a bit more shadow. Let's take black for this one. What I'm going to do is just lay my sentiment strip, which I've already cut down to the size of my card base, just there. So I can add a little bit this side, snip that, then I can add some this side of the leaf and then I'll have a gap so it will kind of go over the leaf. Because of course I've added foam tape to some of those leaves, I don't want it to be interfering with this foam tape. Now this is my tape that doesn't always peel off so well because I think I had it stored in my car on a hot day one day when I was traveling so I'm just going over the bottom of my uh, color block there just so you can see it a little bit and I think I'll finish this off with a few tiny gems Oh, now they just work absolutely perfectly with that uh, mushroom toned backing paper now you can do this with lots of different colors so you could use a pale gray base maybe do blue inking you could use a white base and you could do absolutely any color inking there it's entirely up to you uh, or even go with craft and just brown for kind of a monotone look so i hope you've enjoyed this and it's given you some inspiration for a nice simple card it would definitely work really well for sympathy cards if you have to make one of those which none of us enjoy but when we've got inspiration for something simple it definitely makes it easier so do check out the rest of the friday five minute makes videos just here in the playlist and please do come along and subscribe by pressing this button here uh, so you can catch up with all of my videos as i upload them thank you as always i'll see you again very soon